Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to fix lag in Minecraft 1.17.1. We're going to be using Optifine for most of this, however I am going to be giving you some additional different lag tips throughout this video. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome mod content throughout the entire life of Minecraft 1.17.1 and through Minecraft in general. We post tons of different mod videos, tons of different Minecraft server videos, you will absolutely love it. First and foremost though, we do ask from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, so your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we all start our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below. Breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Something else that's great about Apex, by the way, is that like uh, you don't have to host the server on your own hardware. So if you have a bad computer, you can host a server at Apex and still play on that server. So enjoy that server, all that stuff, without having to worry about your own computer specs. As long as you can play on a Minecraft server, you're good to go. Nonetheless, though, you're here to figure out how to fix lag in Minecraft, not only in a single player, but on servers as well. Like you playing on servers you playing Minecraft single player, that's what we're going to be going over today. Now, as I mentioned, Optifine is a big basically feature in this video. So you want to go here. This is our in-depth Optifine tutorial. It is the second link down below and it goes in-depth on how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft 1.17.1. It says 1.17 right now, but I record the Optifine tutorial, the shader tutorial, and this tutorial back to back to back. So Optifine isn't just up yet, but by the time you get to this video, it will say 1.17.1 here. And then, uh, yeah, so go through this simple tutorial. It's a quick and easy tutorial to get Optifine. We've helped millions of people get Optifine. And that will help you get Optifine as well. Once you have Optifine, though, we can come back to Minecraft here. And then you want to click on Installations. You should have an Optifine profile like this, or you should have created your own, depending on which way you did it. But nonetheless, you should have a profile that has 1.17.1-Optifine under it. Go ahead and click on the three lines over here on the right-hand side and click on Edit. Then in this profile, you want to go ahead and change your resolution. Now, my resolution is set to 1080p. The reason for that is because, well, this is a Minecraft video, and I want you all to be able to see once we get in game, and I need 1080p to do that. But the lower your resolution is, the better. So 800 by 800, for example, is going to create a lot less lag than 1440 or 2560 by 1440 here. I, again, am at 1080p just because that's what makes this for video. That's not necessarily what you should do. I also want to mention RAM here. If you click on more options, you can change your RAM right here. 4G is 4 gigabytes. 2G is is two gigabytes, so on and so forth. We do have an in-depth RAM guide linked in the description down below. And this guide right here is going to help you so much on figuring out exactly how much RAM you should add to Minecraft, right? So everybody is going to have a different amount of RAM added depending on your computer and how much RAM you can add depends on your computer. And this video goes in depth with that. It also talks about modded Minecraft and all of that stuff. So now let's go ahead and once you've got all this kind of set up here, change the resolution and all that, click save and we can go ahead and play Minecraft with the Optifine profile here. If you do get this pop up, it's just saying, hey, you're about to play modded Minecraft. Are you okay with that? Yes, we are. So go ahead and click play. Now, Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with Optifine. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you once we are on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Let's go ahead and transition into game here so we can see things better. Now, the first thing we need to do is confirm we have Optifine. So let's go ahead and click on options and then video settings. And then there is Optifine in the bottom left. Now, before we go ahead and start customizing those video settings, we actually want to make sure and see what our FPS is before we go ahead and optimize because I want you to post in the comment section down below where your FPS is before and what your FPS is after just to show that this really works this does increase FPS a ton so for me we're going to go ahead and click on multiplayer and then we're going to jump in to play.breakdowncraft.com the best Minecraft server on the multiverse go ahead and test your server on, or test your FPS on the uh, Breakdowncraft server as well we're on aquatic survival here and overall we're going to be able to get our sample FPS rating so for me, the first number up here in the top left, by the way, if you want to get this in the top left, I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. Click on Escape, Options, and then you want to go into Video Settings, Other, right? So again, that was Escape, Options, Video Settings, other and then show FPS, right? That's going to show that in the top left, make it easier for you to do this. But for me, I'm seeing low numbers of three, by the way, but I won't do that. It looks like the average kind of number there. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're looking at 130, it looks like, and then our bottom number is going to be like 80, 84, 85. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do 85. So our second number is 85. I don't know exactly what these are. I think one's the high number, one's the low number, or one's like the average FPS and one's the max FPS. I don't know exactly, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get those numbers written down. We're going to disconnect, and then we're going to join back in here and check it out 
here in a minute. So if we go into options and then video settings, we'll be able to go ahead and get this started. So from the main menu, click on options, video settings, let's go. So the first thing that we need to know is that everything either needs to be on fast or it needs to be turned all the way down. So graphics on fast, render distance all the way down to zero. Smooth lighting, that needs to be turned off. Max frame rate needs to be set to unlimited. This is gonna allow us to get the maximum amount of frame rate possible. Smooth lighting levels, that needs to be turned off. View bobbing doesn't affect performance, it's up to you. GUI scale technically needs to be set to one, right? Now, um, we're making a video here and I don't know about you, but I can't see that, so I know you can't see that. So we need to go ahead and set that back to three so you all can actually uh, see what's going on here. But one technically is the most efficient. Entity shadows need to be turned off. Brightness does not affect performance. Attack indicator does not affect performance. Dynamic lights need to be turned off. Dynamic info FOV does not affect performance, so it's up to you. Shaders need to be turned off. If you have any sort of shader pack turned on here, for example, you want to make sure it is not turned on. You want to turn it off, right? So if we have internal selected, for example, make sure that is turned off. I'm going to go ahead, turn off shaders. Shaders are a huge lag point and they will cause lag. If you're lagging and you have shaders, 90% chance shaders is why you're lagging. Go ahead and click done there. Now we go ahead and move on to quality. Now quality, everything here needs to be turned off, like mid map levels there, right? Turned off or turned all the way down. So mid map levels turned off, mid map type, we need to go ahead and turn that to nearest, right? Anthroscopic filtering, which is what we're gonna move to next, that needs to be turned to off as well. From there, we can move on to anti-aliasing. That needs to be turned off. Most likely, yours is turned off automatically, but turn that off if it's not already. Emissive textures need to be turned off. Some of these have to reload every single time that you turn them off, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, random entities need to be turned off. Better snow, off. Grass, better grass, excuse me, needs to be turned to off. Custom fonts, off. Custom colors, off. Natural textures, off. <laughs> Connected textures need to be turned to fast. As you can see, uh, have to reload there. For those, need to be turned to off, actually. Excuse me. Connected textures need to be turned off, not to fast. My bad. Custom sky needs to be turned off. Custom items, turned off. You guessed it. It's pretty simple. Everything here needs to be turned off or all the way down. Uh, custom entity models need to be turned off. Custom GUIs, if we can let it reload here, need to be turned off. And then distortion effects need to be turned down to off. And FOV effects actually don't really affect performance. Then we go ahead and click done there. Moving on from there, we need to move on to details. And you guessed it, all these need to be either turned off or they need to be turned to fast. Cloud height can be turned off, rain and snow off, sky off, stars off, show capes, that actually doesn't affect performance too much. You can leave that on if you want. Sun and moon off. Now, for example, sun and moon, that's only gonna be affected on single player. That's not gonna affect Minecraft servers. Fog needs to be turned off. Fog start doesn't matter because we turned fog off. Translucent blocks need to be turned to fast. Hold on, tool tips, don't affect performance. Leave those wherever you want. Swap colors need to be turned off. Dropped items need to be turned on fast. Vignette needs to be turned on fast. Alternate blocks needs to be turned off. Any distance, turn that down to 50%. That, by the way, may cause some weird entity loading issues where they're not shown until you get really close to them. If that's the case, you can turn that up a little bit. But overall, that is going to be the least laggy. Biome blend needs to be turned off. I go ahead and click done there. Then we can move on to performance. Now this one's really, really cool because this is where you're gonna get a lot of the best FPS smoothing and things like that out of Minecraft. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on render regions. What this is gonna do is, as you can see, load terrain around you while you're standing still. It's, it's really cool. And it basically is more effective at higher render distance. But anyway, go ahead and turn that on. Now, one thing I will say, if you have a dedicated GPU like I do, you want to turn on render regions. If you have like a integrated GPU, like an Intel and no dedicated GPU, you want to actually leave that off. I need to turn it on though. Fast render, it needs to be turned on. Smart animations need to be turned on. Fast math needs to be turned on. Smooth FPS needs to be turned on. Smooth world needs to be turned on. Now, smooth FPS, I'm actually going to turn off. The reason I'm going to do that is we're trying to get the max FPS possible. You should probably leave smooth FPS on. It might turn like lower your high FPS that you can get. So turn that off. You want to get super high FPS, but otherwise turn it on. Check updates need to be set to one. Dynamic updates. I thought this was render reasons. It's actually dynamic updates. This is what's going to load stuff around you while you're standing still and load less while you're moving. Makes so much sense. I don't know why Minecraft doesn't do it automatically, but they need to. Lazy chunk loading needs to be turned on. Now, the easiest one to do here is actually animations. So just click on animations and click all off. Boom, you're done. Animations all off. This is what it needs to be. Click all off done. Other, there's not much in here really that can change Minecraft, if I'm honest. The one thing I do want to mention is autosave. You can turn up autosave if you would like, right? So go ahead, turn up autosave to as high as you want, but know that you can lose that amount in Minecraft. For me, my custom zone is six minutes. I can lose about six minutes of work in Minecraft without any problem. How much can you lose? Well, that's your answer, or that's your question to answer. So go ahead, answer it, set it up, and you'll be good to go. One more thing to mention on autosave. This is only on single player if uh, you know, you're having issues in multiplayer. Autosave isn't going to affect that at all. Show GL errors. If you have any errors that keep popping up in chat, GL errors, you can turn those on or off here. Really and truly, I would just turn them off. <laughs> it's one of those things. I've never had them like break Minecraft, so I just turn them off and we're good to go. 
Now we can go ahead and click done. And that's everything. We've now went through everything here. Click done again. I also want to mention resource packs. As you can see, resource packs are here. Don't install resource packs. Some people say if you install a 16 by 16 resource pack, it's going to improve the basically loading in Minecraft is going to make it a little faster. That's not really the case. Default loads no matter what, right? If you move this over here, you can't unselect default. So because of that, default's going to load no matter what, basically meaning 32 by 32 is the most efficient you can get when it comes to resource packs. Go ahead and click done there. Click done again. And now we're going to jump in again to the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We're going to see how much our FPS has improved. Now, that's a big improvement, I think. Specifically on the top number. The bottom number has improved a decent amount, but that top number is insane. So as you can see, the top number is now 298. 300 before it was 130, right? So 130 before we're standing still here. 200, 300 now. Absolutely insane. The bottom number was 85 before, and it is now up to 119. Our seems to drops to 140, but smooth FPS should fix that if I turn that on. But 150, 130, something like that. So over double on the top number, near double on the bottom number. As you run around, by the way, your FPS will fluctuate. It will change. Sometimes going up, sometimes going down as you load chunks and different things like that. So keep that in mind and you will see that here. But nonetheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And at this point, by the way, I can come in here and actually up some of this if I want. Change it. Do all that stuff. Pretty cool. But anyway, my name is Nick. This is the Brenda Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.